Alberto Moncada left his home country of Honduras a year ago. Since then, he's been living in Maryland and working in an immigrant organization called CASA, where he helps other newcomers adjust to American life, including paying taxes. Alberto filed his taxes for the first time this year. Since it was my first time paying taxes, there were many things I didn't know. But part of my job is to help people pay their own taxes, and that's been very useful for me and for my own personal experience. A 2017 report by the Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy estimates that about 8 percent of what each undocumented immigrant earns in the U.S. goes to pay income taxes. And regardless of their status, immigrants contribute about $80,000 more in taxes than the government services they use during their lifetime. A lot of the people who come to file are, of course, very nervous being undocumented to pay taxes, uh, but they also understand their obligation to pay, so they still do pay despite that fear, and they understand the IRS doesn't share that information with USCIS or immigration or any other agencies. Studies show that undocumented immigrants contribute more than $11 billion to the country's economy every year. In 1997, the IRS came up with a tax ID number for those who don't have a work permit but make a living in the United States. Since then, millions of undocumented immigrants have used this number to file their taxes. Many undocumented immigrants hope their contributions to the country's economy can help them gain legal status. They have the hope that if uh, one day we can get the, uh, an immigration reform, that will allow them to apply for and uh, for changing their, their status, their immigration status, having paid taxes will be uh, very important. According to the IRS, immigrants with an ITIN pay an estimated $9 billion through payroll taxes every year, something many workers hope will gain wider recognition in the future. Andrea Arena, CGTN, Washington.